What is up guys? So welcome back to another video and here's the promised Trader Joe's shopping haul and I'm so excited guys. I don't know what half of the things are that I bought but I'm excited to be here. Let's look at the things. All right guys, so I live about one and a half miles from Trader Joe's and I went there after the gym and I carried all this home by foot and let me tell you, this is probably like 30 pounds in total. So it was a fun trip. All right, let's look at the first bag. I'm excited and I need to put groceries away. So which one is interesting? Oh yeah, okay, so we start with the boring stuff, all right? So um, I bought, quick fun fact. So I actually looked to sell my granola at Trader Joe's and quick update on the granola. I'm trying to, we're trying to find a new kitchen because I moved. So. It's a little bit, we're a little bit behind with production and everything, so it could be that things are selling out. But yeah, thank you to everyone who's buying my stuff. We have a lot of keto granola left, so go get that. It's really, really amazing. And back to why I'm saying that is, so I wanted to sell my granola on Trader Joe's and Trader Joe's, I saw that as a vendor, like your food has to be really clean. Like the ingredients have to be clean. There's no added like, artificial color and it's very strict and I kind of now that I'm buying there like that because I feel like the food quality is just better than you know like generic food and it's not that expensive I like whole foods you know anyways let's start with this one right here I hope you can see that properly it's peppered turkey breast and it looked really good it's with black peppers no artificial flavors or colors <laughs> and 99% fat free. It is cured, but honestly, what I did of recently, and it's so good, I got cheddar rice cakes. I put guacamole on top of it and then add some turkey breast. It's amazing. Doing the boring stuff first, I got ground turkey. I don't know if I have to talk about this, but this is actually why I was surprised about this is because this is pretty much the same like thing Walmart has, but it's half the price of Walmart. Like, how is that even possible? So I got two of those and yeah, I like my lean turkey. And then let's see what else. Oh yeah, okay. So a friend of mine recommended these to me. I don't know if you can see that. These are shrimp burgers and let me tell you, these are so delicious. So all you have to do is obviously fry them and they only have 90 calories per burger and 13 grams of protein, only four grams of fat. So these ones are so tasty. I'm gonna buy these a lot and there's only shrimp, sunflower oil, rice flour, salt, garlic powder and spices in here. These are for the win and I think they're only like four dollars so pretty cheap. There's four burgers in there. I got cottage cheese. Um, the reason being is because it's super high in protein so this this tub has 18 grams of protein, seven grams of fat and only four grams of milk sugar and what I do with this when I make a protein shake, I actually use only half of the protein powder the whey, and I use almond milk and I add this into the blender and make like a creamy, creamy protein shake. And I feel like it's just better to have the protein coming from like a natural source. So this is why I bought cottage cheese. It's pretty much my, my replacement for half the protein powder, if that makes sense. What else? I got also this one. This one I have not tried. It's a salmon burger, but it sounded amazing. And this one also only has 100 calories per burger, which is amazing. It has 15 grams of protein and three grams of fat. And I love salmon and a salmon burger just sounds amazing. So what I did earlier, actually I made shrimp burger on rice cakes and I'm, I made it with guacamole. Yeah, I made it with guacamole and it was, honestly, it was really delicious. Like rice cakes are an all-rounder. <laughs> I don't think Trader Joe's has rice cakes though. Anyways, last thing that I'm really excited about are these. These are cauliflower gnocchis and I am a sucker for gnocchis. Oh my God, I love gnocchis. And I was so excited to see cauliflower gnocchis. So pretty much all there, all that is in there is cauliflower and then cassava flour and potato starch, olive oil and sea salt. And one serving has 140 calories. It is fairly high in carbs. It has 22 um, grams of carbs of which are six 
grams dietary fiber um, but yeah it's a very great alternative to actual pasta and I'm really excited to try these out I might make a cool recipe with these I don't know yet but these are for the win guys all right I mean it's not that we're finished next up and I thought it sounded really good is chunky guacamole but it's made with Greek yogurt so it has 60% less fat and 50% less calories and I, I just like the taste of yogurt so it only has 30 calories per 30 grams which is really really good and I just love guacamole so much so I had to get this I haven't tried it but I'll let you know also I thought it was amazing that they had a nut blend milk because usually I buy almond milk or cashew milk, but this one has almonds, cashews, and macadamia, and only 30 calories per cup or per, yeah, per cup. So it has the same amount of calories as your regular almond milk, but it's three nuts in here, and I freaking love that. All right, I don't know why I bought this, but it looked kind of interesting. This is a Japanese multi-purpose seasoning, and it's with white sesame seeds, black sesame seeds, nori, salt, and kelp powder and honestly it just i don't know it just sounded delicious so i got it i don't know on what i'm going to use it but i will <laughs> use it on something i got a classic cooking spray it's olive oil it's extra virgin it's not cold pressed but it's olive oil and i just like the cooking sprays because it's easier to distribute and it just it's easier you can control it better Oh, and this one I am really excited about. So I'm a sucker for peanut butter. I'm sorry, my AC just turned on. I hope you can still hear me. So I got this mixed nut butter. It has dry and roasted and salted almonds, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, and pecans in here. And it sounded amazing. And it's 180 calories per 32 grams, which is pretty normal. And it doesn't have any added sugar. So that is pretty, that is pretty good. So all the sugar... All the carbs that come from that are in the nuts. So I'm very excited to try this one out. What I do in the mornings, I make like a protein oatmeal with peanut butter, but I'm gonna be using this. Then I got this. I don't know why I did, but the, colla the collagen kind of got me because I feel like it's good for your skin. Honestly guys, I should do more research before I just use stuff like this, but it's like kind of a protein, collagen, keto, supplement and i'll try this out and let you know how this is no idea twenty dollars though then i got me some barbell bars they have them at trader joe's i don't think i ever had them they are usually around 200 calories per bar relatively low in carbs so most of them have one, one gram or two grams of net carbs fat is medium high and then protein is 20 grams so i got cookies and cream, salty peanut, and caramel cashew. And I'll let you know how they are. <laughs> then I got this hot sauce. Guys, let me tell you, this hot sauce is amazing. First of all, it's green, which is really cool. And it has zero calories per serving, and it just enhances the flavor of everything. I love this. Then I got a quinoa mix because I really like quinoa, I discovered that. So I'm gonna be making more quinoa as a side, probably with the green sauce, because that goes well together. And yeah, just, you know, as a carb side, I guess. I got, I think these are purple sweet potatoes. Guys, purple sweet potatoes are so amazing. I mean, here, <laughs> they look like a ball sack. I didn't say that. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Go for purple sweet potatoes, they're amazing. I got some bruschetta tomato sauce for my gnocchis, which has only 30 calories per serving, and it's re really low in carbs, because I hate tomato sauce where they put a lot of sugar into them. So this one is actually really natural. It has basil, garlic, and tomato, and it sounds amazing, and you can spice it up, you know, with some hot sauce, <laughs> or just salt and pepper in general, but yeah. And then lastly, I got another nut butter but this time with uh, flax seeds and there's actually a lot of stuff in here um, there is peanuts obviously and then there is ground chaya seeds ground flax seeds and sea salt in here and I don't know it sounded really good it has uh, no sugar total carbs six grams so it's coming from the chaya seeds and the flax 
and it has 200 calories per serving and 16 grams of fat and 9 grams of protein so this is like to pretty much cover my my fat intake but yeah guys honestly i'm so excited for everything i got i love trader joe's um it's a little limited in other things like for example i wanted to buy i think paper tissues and i wanted to buy like floss and they don't have that but in the food department i think they have very exciting stuff and generally the stuff is pretty pretty healthy so yeah let me know if i should do another haul let me know if i should do some cooking Whatever you want to see, guys, let me know in the comments down below. Um, welcome to Miami Beach, guys. Stay safe and healthy, and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.